Some people just call you crazy because they think it's cool. And some people call you crazy because they think you're really crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think eventually with time, when my times improved, when I improved, people started becoming more and more, started to take you seriously. But of course, an ice skater from India, nobody wants to take you seriously. So you just have to prove that, hey, you know, I'm, I mean business, I'm not just here to have fun. But Olympics is the final and the only goal for me, you know. I wanted to be a sp an athlete. Uh, I think when I saw my father actually uh, play roller hockey, I think that's when, and I, I would see these medals and uh, trophies of my aunt in the house everywhere because she probably won everything for like five, ten years in the whole, all the races in which she would participate, she would win. So you see all of these, your, your house is completely filled with this sports things and you're like, well, you know, I wish I could do better than that. Since I was five or six, I've been roller skating and on a top level since 99 or 98, 99, you know. And as an athlete, you always want to be at the Olympics. And if that sport is, you find out that it's not going to make it to the Olympics for the next 10 years or 20 years, then you just have to do something, you know. And uh, ice, long track ice skating is something similar to inline skating. I knew that Holland was the place to be. So suddenly I arrive in Europe and I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah. every, every time I travel, I travel with my skates. And in those times, I was still skilering, I was still inline skating. So then I, I took my skates and then I took 10 pairs of wheels or something like that. And so half the bag was filled up already and there's a limit to the weight you could carry. So it was, it was, I was overweight by 10 kilos or something. But yeah, it was the, that's what I took, you know. Clothes. Um, my mom's picture, of course, and, <laughs> and, and some clothes and skates, and that's it. You know, I go to help, eh? and put this and vice, In December that year, in 2008, uh, there was a race in Go Sweden, Gothenburg, uh, Scandinavian Open Cup, and I, I knew from my skating association that I could participate there. And I'm like, okay, send my entry, I'll go and participate. And that was my first time on the ice. It's not bad, eh? Like, it's very logical that you have to have a plan, you have to have okay, set goals and then pursue them and have a good coach, which is very important. Having a good coach is so important. So, since then, I just started looking for a good coach. A straightforward fish from the hips. In the zomer belde die mij of die met ons mee kon komen trainen. En als iemand zo gedreven is, ja, wie ben ik dan om het tegen te houden? Dus dan zeg ik, kom maar, dan gaan we wat kijken. En dan uh, blijkt dat hij ook echt heel gedreven is. Ja, yeah, ik pak mijn bags en ik literally just got on the train to Holland. <laughs> Jullie gaan een beetje uitrijden? Oh, oké. Okay. Some laps to cooling down. Ja? Yeah? It's cold. It's not freezing here. In the winter it should be cold, not now. <laughs> uh, right now the biggest obstacle is the funding, the financials, because it's not a cheap sport also. I think hopefully, hopefully we are able to solve it. Otherwise it's going to be very difficult. I mean, my coach, for example, he's been supporting me all the way right now. So that's good. I mean, I, without him, I don't think I would be able to do anything right now. So. That's very nice, but then eventually we have to figure a way out how to solve this situation. You know, every time you're on the ice, I thought you would get used to it, but no, I'm not. I mean, of course I'm used to being on the ice, but the feeling you get when you skate is just com something completely different. Like even if you had a shitty day, you're on the ice and everything feels right again. You know, it's, it's like you're with yourself on the ice skating with that cold hair air hitting your face and then that's just an unmatched feeling. Eventually I think I want to bring ska ice skating to India and promote it over there. I wish to get a medal someday for India at the Olympics for in the Winter Games and first step is participation and then eventually we'll see how that goes and then win a medal and if that inspires some kids in India to do something better than me then it'll be something nice then it'll be a, an achievement for me yeah.